Hi, this is Sarah Lacey. Welcome to a doubly remote edition of TechCrunch TV. My guest is Travis Kiefer, and we're both in Central Time. I'm at my parents' home in Memphis. Where are you, Travis? I'm at my parents' home in South Dakota. And you just got back from Antarctica. If our readers don't remember, Travis is the kid that I wrote about, um, I guess a couple weeks ago, who was raising some money um, for a nonprofit that he represents and runs from his someone's dorm floor at Stanford. And you were running your seventh marathon on Antarctica. Uh, first of all, tell us how it went. Did training in the Stanford meat lockers, was that a good uh, preparation? It helped a little bit, but definitely not enough. <laughs> um, yes, it was the hardest marathon by far. Uh, it took me just over six hours to complete. Uh, if I could have actually run in some snow, that would have been better preparation because there was more slippage in the snow than I expected. And uh, it turned out that the breathing was generally okay. I don't know if that was too much to training or not, but I definitely should have trained in some snow. Mm -hmm. So where are there funny outtakes of you falling all over the place? Oh, not necessarily falling. It just took a long time. <laughs> <laughs> how did you How did you place? Did everyone run slowly, or were you at the back yes. of the pack? Yes. So I was in the middle of the pack. Uh, there were some people who. So there were nineteen uh, countries represented. There were thirty seven runners, and um, there were some guys who just absolutely incredible. I mean, sub two hour and thirty minute marathons, which is pretty darn close to you know first place competitions all the time, almost Olympic caliber. And so there's no way I was in the front for too long. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, the fastest time was four hours and 20 minutes. And the slowest time, I think, was just over 10 hours or something like that. Wow. I think I would have been 20. Um, so tell us how much money you raised. And tell us some of the crazy things that you had to do for people in Antarctica. Yes. So um, specifically with the TechCrunch article, we raised just over $10,000. Um, to date, we've raised, I think it's in the ballpark of $80,000. And um, the goal is $125,000. Whether or not we'll make that by the end of the year, I don't know. But um, it's, it's looking pretty good. And um, I'm really excited. Some of the crazy stuff I had to do. Um, was you know just different shout outs and stuff like that so nothing too unexpected there mm -hmm. um, but I had to uh, make a snow angel wearing only boxers uh, <laughs> that was that was a little cold um, we actually had uh, the whole group of guys go shirtless and run through the finish line which was a lot of fun that was just kind of spontaneous mm -hmm. Um, some other things that I had to do, I had to solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, I've never learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and so that was interesting. How did you do it? Did you? <laughs> I just twisted it like four or five times and then re undid those five twists. <laughs> yes, yes. So sort of solving, but not quite. <laughs> and, uh, I think that's even sort of solving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, let's see. Um, I had to... Um, do a handstand and make a shout out. That was a little difficult. That took a couple takes, and yeah, that was. I think those two were the most most extreme. Mm -hmm. So, how yeah. long did doing all these things take you? A long time. Was a it like a couple time. days of just doing favors for people? Yeah. So I was a little surprised. How an <coughs> excuse me is oh, that's all right. Uh, it we arrived uh, to Punta Arenas, which is the southern tip of Chile, on. Wednesday, we were supposed to fly out Thursday, but because the what because the weather wasn't very good, um, we ended up sitting in Punta Arenas for four days, and then we're able to go to Antarctica, um, and we spent only three days in Antarctica. So we get there, we have the next day to just kind of recuperate, get adjusted, go for a quick run, make sure we're okay. Um, the next day we run the marathon. The following day after that we flew out, and so that first day and then right after the marathon I spent. It was like eight hours doing all of the different tasks, and it took quite a while, but it was a lot of fun. And I got Still a lot more of more than like a thousand dollars an hour, though. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty. You know, it's pretty good, but I still have to, you know, process them now that I'm home and all that kind of stuff. And so, not quite that good, but it it did work out very well as a fundraising effort. So, what are your plans to raise the rest of the money? You've got what about forty five thousand dollars left? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there are a couple of different competitions we're looking at. There. 
um, are individual donors who have been interested, but I haven't quite um, you know, asked them for anything just yet. Uh, we're seeing if we're just going to get some more from friends and family. It's, it's kind of up in the air right now. Um, we're definitely, we've definitely raised enough money to get us through the first half of next year, though. So the pressure is off, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. So tell mm -hmm. us what the next big challenge for you is. Assuming you can raise this money, what is the next big thing for Gumball Capital? What's the next big thing you have to pull off? Yes. Um, so it's actually, we, we've made a pretty big promise of running quite a few challenges and raising quite a bit of money for poverty alleviation, getting a lot of students involved with entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, learning the skills at a basic level and, you know, taking $27, 27 gumballs in a week to just kind of have fun and, and do crazy cool stuff. And so it's kind of, you know, fulfilling that promise is, is the next big task and um, doing that in at least 50 schools this upcoming spring. You're going to be a busy guy. Well, thank you so much for joining us and have a good Christmas with your family. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Sarah.